Hi, I'm Griffin, and I agree for this video to be publicly available. For my service learning project, I created an Android app called the Usage Tracker. Its functionality is that it tracks usage statistics on the phone. Currently, it is able to track the total time spent on any one particular app. The way this is done is when, when the app is opened, it shows a list of all the times spent on every single app. It does not show the time if it is zero minutes, zero seconds, and zero hours. This means that the application was never opened. As you can see, the messaging app has been opened for 11 seconds. The uses tracker, which is this app, has been opened for 21 minutes and 9 seconds and so on. In order to update the time, we must come out of the app, we must open any particular app, let's just say the clock app, and when we wait a few seconds inside the app, two seconds, three, four, five, okay, and then we come back to the usage tracker, currently it says we spent two minutes and three seconds that was the previous time. But when we update it by going to this tab, moving back, now it says we spent two minutes and 13 seconds inside the app. It also updated the uses tracker to 21 minutes and 49 seconds. On the code side, this is done by the, app the application acquires the times by opening up an editor uh, whenever the application is opened. This editor acquires a list of all the, the names of the apps that are currently installed on the, on the phone. And each app has an associated time that is spent on it. Um, this time can be acquired by this method get total time in foreground. This, the, this editor then sends the information to main activity where the editor is opened and the time for every single app is divided by seconds, minutes, and hours. The name of the app is also cleaned up so it only shows the actual name of the app because right now when we come down here to the log the, the names are very long and the only part that really matters is this last end piece like the calendar part for example once every single time has been divided up it it, it sends each time and each name into a into a string variable and that string variable updates or the string variable is sent to a text box called the full report the full report is accessed in this class called dashboard view model um, the text the 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 variable mText sets the value to be the full report, which was the list of all the apps and their times. Currently, this is all the app is able to do. Originally, I was planning on having the app track the average time spent and the frequency of whenever an app was opened per week. I was also going to include the usage for the current day. Um, I was not able to get these functions to work on time, um, mainly because I was I underestimated the learning curve that is associated with Android development. Um, this this topic is completely new to me. And I was not, I was not expecting how it would turn out. 
Um, I went into this project thinking that I would create a lot of my own classes and methods, and that turned out to not be true. I actually used quite a few classes that have already been created by previous developers, um, such as you know, acquiring the uh, acquiring the names of the apps into a big list, um, acquiring the the time that is spent, um, sending the information to the main activity class, and so on. I do plan on including these three features um, after after this require after this recording. I plan to put these three features inside these two tabs that are currently called nothing. In this tab, I was planning on having the usage for the current day. For this tab, I was having I was planning on having the frequency used, and the average time spent on each app per week on this tab. Also, I plan to add some more fitting icons. Currently, these three icons are just the, uh, the generic standard icons. Um, also, this icon on the home screen is just the, the, the basic icon. I plan to add more appropriate icons um, such as like a clock icon, and I will be working on this in the future after this recording. Thank you for watching my presentation, and have a good rest of your day.